Hello everybody. Today I'm gonna walk you through uh, how you can submit a game to the Solana D App Store on the Saga phone. And the game we're gonna use for that is um, one of our example games, the Solana uh, 2048. And yeah, so you start your journey here in the docs.solanamobile.com slash D App uh, Publishing. And now we're just gonna go through the steps and uh, we're gonna perform them together. A few of them I did already, like the installation, so I go through them and just explain them. So the first thing we're going to do is we need to uh, enable core pack. So you just um, copy these commands into your uh, into your terminal and then you run them, basically. Um, if you don't have um, JQ installed, then you go to just JQ and you just type brew install JQ and then you should have this installed. And then you do the command prepare core pack with uh, npm version um, 7.13 and activate. And then you need to have Android SDK tools installed. If you're using Unity, then you might have these installed already. So you can go to preferences and external tools. And here you have uh, all the links that you need for that. Um, if you don't have them installed, if you're not deploying a game, maybe, then you um, install Android Studio. And as soon as you have Android Studio installed and you start a new project, then it will install the Android SDK in your library folder, like library, Android SDK, platform, and then uh, Android 33. And the path that you actually need to put here to the build tools is um, not just the path to the um, SDK, but you need to put the path to the build tools because in this folder here it will use the AAPT um, tools to actually deploy the program, um, the APK later. Then you need to have um, Java installed. Um, maybe you have it installed already. If you don't, then you just go to um, Java like from Oracle and you install the latest version or uh, I think version 17 is recommended. So I installed um, JDK 17 for the ARM processor, which is my uh, installed on my Mac. So if you have these two installed, then this is already very good. Then you start um, creating a folder for your publishing. What I did is I put it directly into my uh, repository and I just put it within the Unity folder and then under Publishing. And then when you um, do these functions here, PMP init and PMP install safe dev Solana mobile D app store, and then you initialize it, then it will create you a bunch of configuration files. So it will uh, create this uh, config YAML here, and it will also uh, add an env uh, environment file here so that you can make visible with control shift dot if you don't know. And then, um, yeah, so now the files are installed and now we go to publishing and I'm not quite sure where the Android SDK is set. So let me quickly show you how you, how you can set the correct um, value here. So basically this is the, uh, the, um, the path of your Android tools directory, like I showed earlier. So here you need to have the correct path in here to your Android build tools. And then let's go to preparing for publishing. So it starts with um, an icon. We need an app icon. In Unity, you can find this um, here. I have this, this um, little otter here with the numbers and I copied it over also in my publishing folder. And then I also added uh, four screenshots. And then I also uh, add the APK here. And here you have a warning. So it's very important that you use a new key pair when you want to publish your game or your app. So what I did for this is you go to publishing settings to the key store manager. And then here you create a new key pair. You save it somewhere. Don't commit this one, of course. Um, you create a new key store score, you give it a name and a password. And then you use this key store um, to create your APK. So I guess it needs to be unique in case there's conflicts with the normal Google Play Store on the same phone. Then, um, yeah, you put your uh, screenshots here in the right resolutions. What I did, I just um, 
took a screenshot from within Unity, I put them into Photoshop and scaled them to the correct resolution. Um, they can either be landscape or uh, portrait mode. And yeah, that's uh, already all about the files we need. Then we need to populate the configuration file. So this configuration file you find here in, uh, it's the config YAML. And you can, for example, open it in Visual Studio Code. That's what I did. Added all my um, all my um, settings here, like my name. The email address is important because this will be used to give you an update on your submission later. Then for the website, I put the um, repository and um, I still need to replace the license and privacy URL. Um, then I have here the icon, like the link, the path to the icon. So I just put it in the same folder. So it's just store icon.png. And then for the screenshot, I just have a screenshot1.png. Then you have a short description. This needs to be only um, 30 um, letters. And then you have a longer description. Then you have your new release and you have some testing instructions. These will not be published. This will be just used by um, Solana to review your app. Okay, so now um, we already have all our things prepared. So now we need to create a key pair. And if you have never done this before, then I, I can recommend you this page here, um, which tells you that you can grind a new key pair by typing Solana keygen grind starts with, and then what you want to start it with. So I used this. I just went in the terminal to the correct folder. Um, now I'm in Unity. So yeah, I can now go into CD publishing and now I can copy this key pair and like this command. And here I can, for example, say this is my, um, my app key. So this one needs to keep safe because this one is used to mint the NFTs, which will represent your app in the dev store. So I did this earlier. You can see uh, my key pair is here in this folder. This is um, needed for the next step. So now you have um, your key pair created. And then what I did is I went to my Phantom Wallet and I transferred some Sol into this key pair because you need some Sol to mint the NFTs. Um, then there's a section here about the mainnet RPC URL, like you shouldn't use the mainnet one. In my case, I used a Helios RPC URL, but you can also use QuickNode or Hello Moon or Triton or whatever uh, RPC of your preference. And it might also work if you just put um, minus U and M, then it will just use the default uh, mainnet RPC, but they are sometimes a bit slow. That's why this recommendation is here. So then we need to validate our configuration. So I will quickly do this here. So I do MP uh, mpx dep store validate minus K and now I need to put my key pair. So um, let me quickly copy this off screen so you don't see my key pair. So now I have this copied over and now I can validate my configuration. And if everything is correct, then um, we should now have like publisher valid, uh, JSON valid, app JSON is valid and our release JSON is valid. Very nice. So now we can go to the next step and we can mint our uh, publisher NFT. That I did already here. So you can see this is my publisher NFT. It has my name. It has the store icon. It has the URL to the GitHub repository. In your case, this might of course be the URL of your project. And now we need to go to the next step. And now we create our app NFT. So that I have uh, not done before. So I will quickly do that. And now I need to copy my, um, my key pair again. Okay, so now we are here and I will paste my key pair here again. And this should now create us our, our app NFT. And as we can see, this is looking good. Fail to send transaction. Transaction simulation fund attempted to credit an account that did not have prior credit. Okay, this is probably because I, this is now on DevNet. 
So I put UM for mainnet. And let's see if it works with the mainnet um, RPC. Otherwise, I would um, need to do this, of course, um, with the Helios RPC, for example. So the endpoint URL must start with HTTP or HTTPS. So, um, okay, so I need to copy a URL. I will quickly do that. One second. Okay, so I copied um, uh, RPC URL. I will use this one now. And now it is uploading our store icon to Arweave. The app NFT has successfully been minted. I can look at it on SoulScan. Let's quickly do that. So I move this over here. Now I can see my app on SoulScan. So the next thing we need to do is Um, we need to create a release NFT. So now I copy the same thing here again. I put the key pair. And um, yeah, the, um, the path to the Android uh, SDK we don't need because we have this in the end file already. If you don't have this in the end file, then you might need to put the... Uh, URL to your build tools of your uh, Android SDK in here. So now I copy my key pair again. Okay, now I copy the mainnet Helios RPC again. This one you should also not share, by the way. So let's copy this. Put this here and now we are um, creating a release nft and now after we created the release nft all we need to do is we need to submit our app so that's very exciting and then when we um, submitted our app then all we need to do is wait for the decision so we will get an email from the dev store and then hopefully in a few days the app will be available in the solana d app store and the Solana D App Store is very cool because um, it allows you to do um, crypto things in your app, which is not possible, for example, in the Apple App Store. It's, like, it's very difficult to get a game in there, for example, that has functionality for NFTs because you need to then um, mint them via in-app purchases. But now you can see here, I can play this game. And yeah, I'm still up, uh, waiting for the upload here to be done. Okay, it looked like it, it just took a while for the upload. And the next thing we're going to do is now um, we're going to publish the app. So all we need to do for that is we um, replace create release with publish submit. So we do publish submit. We put the same key pair again and the URL of our RPC. And now we are submitting the app. So importing JSON models uh, is an uh, experimental feature. This feature could change any time. So I think we are missing some, uh, some parameters here. So for submit app, we also need to add complies with Solana D app store policies and requester is authorized. Okay, so I will copy the key pair again here. So link to the key pair. Paste this in and the RPC URL again. So that we put here. And now we should hopefully have our app published. Let's see. Let's run this. No matches found. Okay, so we need uh, quotes, I think. So. So it looks like now we are deploying. Let's see. Successfully submitted to the mobile D app store. Okay, so now we are just waiting for a reply and Yeah, if you want to do this yourself um, feel free to also um, Write me if you need support or uh, Andrew from Solana Labs or and uh, Yeah, good luck with your um, Submission. I can't wait to see all your apps and games in the D app store. I will definitely try them out uh, Have a nice day everybody
バイバイ。